Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana Banana. Today I'm doing just a quick, chill, get ready with me. This smoky look that I've been doing, I've been showing a lot on my Instagram, has been highly requested. So I just decided to kind of throw it into a get ready with me. I'm not getting ready for anything special. I'm doing some stuff today. It's Saturday. <laughs> um, some family's coming into town. We're going to lunch. La la la. Nothing special, nothing ultra special, but sorry for the blinds. The lighting was weird, so I had to close them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell to get notified whenever I upload. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get into it. Excuse my redness on my face. I don't know. I don't think it's as bad as yesterday. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so this side is sunburnt. There's like a little bit, I don't know, it's the most uneven sunburn ever. Excuse my sunburn. I already did my brows because you guys know I hate doing my brows on camera. And I use the Koki Brow Pomade Gel. We'll do eyeshadow first. I'm priming with the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in illustrate as always nothing new i'm not really what am i saying i'm not really doing anything today my aunt is coming in i mean she only lives like an hour away but her and my uncle are coming we're going to lunch and then we'll probably i don't know just hang out with them today nothing like crazy but uh, I just, I haven't, I mean, when I say I haven't done a get ready with me in a while, like, get ready with me's are my favorite types of videos to do, so that means I probably haven't done one in like four or five videos. Uh, maybe longer than that, but you guys know what I mean. I'm sorry guys, I look insane. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for a my smoky eye that I've been doing a lot lately on Instagram. So that's what I'm going to do today and I'll show you the drugstore version. I, you can do this with any brown or black eyeshadow, whatever shade you want your smoky eye to be. And I literally just use one shadow and just blend. So I'm going in with the Soph X. The original Soph X palette, mine's broken, and I'm going in with this brown shade right here. Obviously, it's well loved. This is like one of my favorite brown eyeshadows. So, and I'm taking it on this uh, Shop Miss A E132 brush. Let me zoom in. Okay, so I just take this and I just start packing it on the lid. And like I said, you can do this with any like color shadow you want. Like if you want a blue smoky eye, you can use like a dark blue. Um, you can use a black. I have done this technique with black and it works really well. Just make sure like it's a good black eyeshadow. I haven't tried it with the Soph X black, but I have tried it with the Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette the black shade in there and it worked beautifully and I have done a similar look to this with the Emily edit the once palette by makeup revolution with their um, super deep beautiful dark green shade and oh my I mean it wasn't this exact technique but it turned out so beautiful I absolutely love makeup revolutions uh, eyeshadows, especially the ones that are collabs with influencers. And so I'm just blending this. That's literally all I do for this look. You can do whatever shape you want. I kind of do like a square roundish shape and ever so slightly like kind of bring it to a wing out. But nothing crazy. Thank you. 
this is a brown that works the best for this I don't know like I don't know what it is about this brown shade but I don't it just works and that is like literally all I do. If any part is faded from blending so much, I just go back and pack it on. I'll take just a fluffy brush and just do a little extra blending. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this. Like. It's so easy. I literally just pack and blend. So I'm going to do the other eye so this video isn't 10 years long. And then we'll see what's next. <laughs> I threw on some lashes. And for eyeliner, I just use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I just do like a straight line just along my lash line so the lashes blend in better. And I also put some of the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil on my top waterline. I'll do the bottom waterline in a little bit. This is my current favorite pencil liner. It's so black. It literally, okay, so it claims to be 18 hours and waterproof. And I haven't tried the waterproof, but well, I guess kind of. My eyes are super watery and on my watery eyes, they it lasts all day, stays super black all day. Absolutely love that. And it's like $2. So if you haven't tried it, I highly suggest it, especially if you're looking for a good black liner. Um, pencil, of course. And also what I did was I put some of the brown on my lower lash line. I never do this before my foundation. Like I always do it after, but I just wanted to see how it worked out. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and prime and I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime. I think I used this in a video recently. I don't know. Maybe it was meant to be a video and it never came out, but maybe it did. I don't know. But I actually really liked the way my makeup looked on it, so... Oh, it's so hydrating. For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible. I mix, I'm like at a weird stage right now. I have not been self tanning, but I've been laying out the, at the pool like in the morning for like an hour each day just to, you know, get some. It really helps with my depression a lot, getting the sun. Because if I'm, you know, this, I do this full time, so I'm inside a lot. So getting that sun, like, just really helps my mental state. So anyway, I'm at like a weird stage. I mean, I'm, you can probably see my tan line, but I'm like burnt up here. But the rest of me is like kind of tan, but like not super tan whatever so i'm mixing these two and it's uh 425 linen and 470 radiant honey the only thing i'm not a huge fan of about this foundation is how like runny it is Ugh. like but i mean that's not a deal breaker i really need one of those things that you put on your um is it finger or wrist and it's just like pretty much like a palette that you can mix your stuff on i really need one of those I need to pay attention to under my eye, under his eye. I think I need to close my blinds because it's making everything such a weird color. I'm gonna close my blinds really quick. Okay, so sorry for the ugly background. It's just my blinds, but it's a weird time of, not a weird time of day, but it's morning still. And so when it's morning, it's like this, I just get this weird like color in my room. I don't know. The lighting is horrendous and it's still not the best, but it's better than it was. And I know it comes with the territory of having natural light as my background, but it's not going away. I love this background, not the blinds, but with the window open. And normally I try to film like later in the afternoon or evening. It's much better lighting then. But let me know if you guys actually like the na nature background that I have because I love it. It just... It honestly lifts my mood. I love having it back there. It makes me feel like more, I don't know. I feel like when I just have a regular background, like I just feel like kind of closed in and like not as personal. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like my 
nature background just relaxes me. So I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I almost used the Flower Beauty uh, foundation today, but I wasn't sure. I mean, I do, I do really like it, but I wasn't sure how well it would like cover up my sunburn. So I just kind of stuck with my L'Oreal because I know it's amazeballs. I mean, the flower foundation is amazeballs, but I just didn't know how it would work over sunburn. And this is the shade Fair. And my face is on fire from the sunburn. I'm like, I'm going to set my concealer ooh, with the Koki Translucent Powder. And I'm not going to let this sit for a crazy amount of time because I don't like to bake. But I will go back in and kind of touch up this lower lash line while that's there in case there's fallout so I can just wipe it away. But for the lower lash line, I love ooh, love this little brush. It's the e.l.f. eye crease brush. It's like super tiny but very dense. And I love it for my lower lash line, especially when I'm doing a smoky look. And then for an all-over powder, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay. Love this powder. This is in the shade 312 Golden. I'm gonna bronze now, and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Ready to Go. Man, I want like a million Stellas right now, but I've been doing so good eating healthy and not drinking beer. I mean, I drink it every now and then. You know, I deserve a treat, but not nearly as much as I used to. I've actually been drinking wine a lot. That's, okay, this is why I always tell you, not always, but I try to tell you guys to go follow me on Instagram because lately I've been doing a lot of lives. I enjoy lives a lot and like YouTube will always be my number one. But it's like um, those days in between YouTube videos, sometimes it's just like it's a little bit less stressful. It's something more relaxing that I just like sit in front of my phone and I just like chit chat with you guys on there live, you know. I just like the combination of having YouTube and doing Instagram lives. I just, I don't know, I've really been enjoying it when I'm like, honestly, like when I'm kind of down and I'm just like, I don't know, sometimes I get really down, especially like working from home. It's kind of gets lonely and so I get excited when I post YouTube videos because I get to talk with you guys and you know it's just YouTube's my thing and then in between those days like just hopping on Instagram live it just like really lifts my mood a lot and a lot of times I'll have like a glass of wine with me I don't know it's fun you should go follow me on Instagram or don't but just hop on my lives every now and then my ears are crooked yeah. I haven't been doing blush, but I did blush in my last video of the random phone numbers choose my makeup and I put on this uh, Wet n Wild limited edition Dare to Soar blush and I actually really liked it so I'm gonna wear some blush today. And I put it on my nose. Dana tries to get rid of sunburnt look, adds more pink to her face. Now we'll do highlighter. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do a lipstick. My lips have been super dry and 
I actually just like a regular plain lip. I know, I'm weird. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Revolution Pro HD Amplified Get Baked Palette. <laughs> and I am using my favorite shade, obviously, this one, Call. And shout out to my girl Sammy for her little trick. I'm sure she's not the only person on the planet that does this, but she's the person that informed me of this using like a semi damp sponge to do your highlighter. And I have used this technique, but normally with like jelly or like cream highlighters. I never tried it with powder until recently and now I can't stop. I do use a brush to blend it out, but I feel like I just get a lot more pigment this way. It does look crazy at first. Don't fret. I just take my trusty dusty elf fluffy eye blending brush. What made me stop wearing blush? I feel like I like my looks a lot better when I wear blush. Why did I stop? Someone tell me. Cause I don't even know. For mascara, I'm gonna be brave. I'm using the, the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution. Okay guys, so for the lips, I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to take care of them today. They're just super dry. So I'm literally just reapplying my, uh, this is my Vaseline Lip Therapy. Does this count? <laughs> for lipstick today, we're using Vaseline. I love this stuff. Kind of looks like a gloss, huh? Short, sweet, to the point. Probably not that short. It just felt like it was short. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I love you guys so much. Bye!